and welcome to the hey, welcome to the channel. Hey, welcome! Oh, Jesus Christ! Welcome to the channel. Eh, uh, what's that thing for? Hi. Um, I'm going this way because the motorway was shut. Uh, Friday night. Roadworks. Is that a cat? Is that a cat? Makes you wonder where that cat had been, eh? It's just like, been across the railway line. Does it go up over the, well, obviously go up over the back, eh, the walkway? Maybe not, maybe it was raking about along the undergrowth here on the left. Eh, uh, who knows? Hello, welcome to the channel. Ah. Right, so, eh, uh, what's going on? Eh, uh, got the van with us. Uh, I still haven't topped up the coolant. Yeah. I'm having a bit of an argument <coughs> with people uh, about that lady that got locked up for two and a half years for tweeting something horrible. Um, so I've got to justify my opinion that. I don't think you should get two and a half years for saying horrible things on the internet. Um, I, I think, you know, do we take people literally? Where do we draw the line? You know, so she got two and a half years, but equally somebody's probably said worse things than what she said, and having had two and a half years is the point. So, I think it's my own personal opinion is that I don't agree with that, I think it's wrong. Uh, there's lots of people said horrible things to me on the internet. Uh, <coughs> you actually do kind of hallucinate a bit when you're driving in the middle of the night like this. Um, it kind of messes with you. Should really be in sleep right now. Between now, this is quite, I don't know what it is, 20 past one or something. Should really be asleep. Do you know I've never set the clock right in this van since I got this in 2017? Because I don't actually know how to do it. Uh, how is going on up here? This. It works. It's a taxi. So some kind of problem. Uh, not a good idea about standing in the standing out in the road like that. Really, don't know why they're doing. Right, let's get here on this thing. So it's the first time taking the van to Falkirk. Uh, let's see how it goes. End of day, you've got to try things. You just sort of wonder who's out and about at this time of night as well, don't you? You know, like, what are they up to, messing about? So a lot of the things that everybody, you know, these stupid laws and that's going on, most of it is pure nimbyism, isn't it? With it, with the actual, there's a sort of 
people, certain amount of people who just totally don't give a shit about any of their stupid laws. <coughs> Quite rightly so. You've got to be a normal human being and go on with life and enjoy it. And if you're going to be a puranical, well, it's puranical, isn't it? The, the 20 zones are an example of puranical nimbyism, pointy finger. Oh, you're going over 20 miles per hour, oh, you're dangerous. Yeah. Oh dear, it's so dangerous. Well, no, it's not dangerous. No, it's just 30, 30, 30, 30. <coughs> Changes to 20 here. Stupid waste of time. Stupid waste of money. Yeah, that example of, so that lady got locked up for saying something. Uh, and, but what about the lies that the government say all the time, telling us there's a climate crisis when there isn't? So the, 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 it's, it's a political, um, it's not the, the science as such, it's only they've picked out the science that suits them and sort of done a, a kind of thesis, uh, no, it was a synopsis, is that the word? It's a... Uh, it's not the science. So that's like terrorism against the people. Uh, but is he going to get locked up? No. You know, I, I just fundamentally don't think you should be locked up for saying stupid things on the internet. What about people who say nasty things about me? That's how, I've had loads of people say nasty things about me. Should they be locked up? I don't think so. I mean... Saying things is just. I don't even know if I'm convincing myself here. I just don't think. I don't agree with locking somebody up for two and a half years for saying things on the internet. Or have they proved that there was real intent? You know, this person really wanted people to go in. I can't even say what, what I believe she said. It's burning something down. Or killing somebody. Inciting a riot, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe I need to think about it a bit more. Who knows? So, uh, the weather's alright then now. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be very good tomorrow. The weather's to turn about 7 in the morning or something. Uh, so it's going to be pretty grim. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Anyway, I was watching my, my hiking guy, Ek. Was it Ek? Oh, I need to forget what his name. Is it Ek Acres or something? American guy. And he's talking last night about things, particularly about the storms and the hurricanes and people losing their head. And he was just saying, common sense, he was saying, look, why do you live in a place where you know there's been disasters in the past? So like Florida, you know, where a house, this woman lost everything, she was in her car, and all her belongings were in her car. You know, and it's like, what he was saying was, he does have sympathy for that lady, but, there's a truck in there, but, you know, why you move somewhere where, what the hell is that, a little mouse or something? Rat? Is that a rat? Move somewhere where you know, so like, basically, the thing with the, Climate crisis. They'll say things like, "Ooh, look what's happening in Florida," but Florida is is only slightly above sea level. You know, so it's not a clever place to build uh, a house. 
you know, or live. He, I don't think this here probably. Well, this has all been reclaimed. A lot of this has been reclaimed land. That's why they call it skin flats. Well, no, is it? I don't know why they call it skin flats. Uh, but it was, I think the Dutch, so that's what's called the Dutch Inn, the pub there. Because the, the, the Dutch came and sorted out the, the drainage. Because it's in a freaking flat area that's low lying near the river, prone to flooding. You go to build, build 6,000 houses on it, uh, developers get their money, they make tons out of it, bog off. 10, 20 years time there's a big flood. Enjoyable drive this. Yeah. I looked at that cottage, the one on the right, and I did. Yesterday was a harvest moon, which is the high tides. Yeah, that's why you get. Yeah, that's why you get the floods. Um, well, that coupled with the rain, the high tides means floods. But it's not climate crisis or global warming. I think people just attribute whatever they want if they, to whatever they think in order to to justify their own um, fears or it's like a religious so the climate thing is a religious cult group and you're either in it or you're out of it so you're a denier it's weird isn't it <laughs> it's totally weird it really is There's a blue light going across the bridge there. Quite a man in crossing. Well, yeah, you're going to get that a lot of that, aren't you? So I've brought the frying pan with me some oil and sausages, black pudding, and an egg. I've only got one croissant, no bread or nothing, so. If MD wants me to make them anything, they're going to have to go and buy rolls and bacon. <laughs> We're coming up for the numpty zone. Numpty zone coming up. The slight problem with going here is that I can go to sleep in the van. The problem is that um, you have to. He sort of budges the vehicles in to get as many in as possible, so he's liable to get you to move. You know, tighten up. So you're tapping the windows. That's all the only downside of coming here. You know, it's not, and you, you can't just go and fall asleep somewhere because then you wouldn't get in when you woke up. It's, you know, if you woke, if you went here and you woke up at six in the morning and you weren't in position, you wouldn't get in. To where I'm going, right? that, that's the sort of problem. Man. We're in the numpty zone.
We are in the numpty zone. And the Grangemouth thing, you know, the, I went down to uh, Grangemouth Refinery and I was getting harassed by security guards. Uh, I wasn't actually at the refinery, I was, I was on the main, the public road, the A904. I haven't been able to find out any information about that. Uh, it's called Operation Lightning. So I searched that on the internet and got nothing. Went into Police Scotland, got nothing. Um, I still find it slightly incredulous that I can't go and take pictures down there. Bearing in mind, I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about being in the refinery. I'm talking about taking pictures of the refinery uh, or, or, or generally just the chimneys uh, anything really uh, from a public place um, you're not allowed to under terrorist legislation cordon security guards so um, I have to accept that that is the case um, Seems to be true. It definitely takes longer coming this way than going down the waterway. I think there probably is a strong possibility that if somebody, like at night, at this time in the morning, it is probably dangerous, more dangerous than at other time because like some myself, or I'm a normal human being, we are driving at a time when we actually should be in bed asleep, right? So, and then if you've got somebody who's wandering around, they also should be in bed, right? So, what are they doing? So they're either under the influence of something, you know, or drugs or alcohol or something. Who knows, it could be all, anything like that. And, um, So you get the two, that's really like the only thing about it at this time of night is it's quieter. It's just less chance of bumping into somebody else. I think it's going to be easier using the van, so we're going to have space to do a bit of cooking and that, and generally, um, see, see how it goes, it's, it's not really going to be, I don't think it's going to be any good, because the weather warnings out, and, I mean, you're always going to get people come out, but, I mean, it's, it's not a good idea going out in a weather warning, is it? So it's only nutters like me who go out. I don't know how bad the wind's going to be. <sighs> what if the security guards would be on you at night? I bet they would. If I went round to Grange right now, I bet they'd be out just as quick. It must be quite boring maybe doing their job. And then all of a sudden they've got some weirdo like me standing there trying to take a picture. And they've got to get in the floor before and go storming down and terrorise the living daylights out of that person. And tell them that. And make them feel like they're criminals as well. Wait, wait a minute, all I was doing was taking a photograph. Oh, it's like. Uh, I'm terrorising. I'm a terrorist. I'm like, wait a minute. So I just said I'm a terrorist, right? So I'm not a terrorist, but I've just said I'm a terrorist. Does that mean I should go to jail? So oh yeah, you just said you're a terrorist. Get two and a half years in jail. Oh, I just said it. I didn't really mean it. I didn't really mean that you should go and do that to the the mosque or whatever. I don't know what she said. Um, 
I don't condone that, obviously. And I don't... I think there's, there's got to be a big difference between saying things and actually doing something. So it's a political uh, move to jail her. So we are in a, a communist dictatorship. So now we're at, well this is skin flats here. So on the left is the Dutch Inn. Um, never been in there, I need to go in there. Dutch Inn. Lunch or so. I don't really go out for lunch much. I should do it more often. So I'm going, to, I'm going to a Christmas dinner, I'm just thinking there about, is this, there's this woman, right, uh, I was at this group for mental health, and for one reason or another, I unfriended one of them on Facebook, which is, it's like some kind of crime to do that, you know, and uh, a while later I was, why did you, you know, and it's like, so it's like I was thinking about covert narcissism. So we've got all these like ineffective women. It's ineffective men or you get overpowering women. You can also get ineffective women. So that's women who haven't really made their mark on life. And then you've got to really define what... Like, so on GB News yesterday they were talking about women and men and women and trans women in sport. And the thing, the thing to say, if you ever get into these discussions, if I ever get into that, I'm going to say, well, what is a woman? You know, and then just say, what, what is it? You tell me, you're the expert. Because sometimes when you get asked a question like that, it's not as easy to answer as what you think it might be. You know, what is a woman? It's a, well, it's a, why am I saying this? I don't know. Um, Why am I saying this? Because you have to define whatever it is your argument is. Uh, I don't know why I've lost my train of thought. Is that because it's early in the morning? Um, so she, she went in a bit of a huff. So I, so I'm assuming like covert narcissism is going to go, oh, you know, like you could actually get ganged up on just for doing something like unfriending somebody on Facebook. <laughs> I know it's, it sounds quite pathetic, I know it does, right? But, it, it's like, a little battle they can pick. Oh, you know. So how do you answer it? you got to think of different ways to answer it. So, I say, so, oh, what was her name again? And she goes, oh, it's so nice. I said, so I'll send her a friend request. Then I don't know what happened there. I think she went in a hump or something. So I think people like that don't have much power, so if I can find something like that to have an argument about, I'll do that. Well, I did get a little bit of sleep, I went to bed for an hour or so, a couple of hours, I feel quite tired tonight. I mean, maybe I might not bother using my car, don't you? Well, I don't, 
we'll see, we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, this is better because it's got the diesel heat, the night heater in it. But I, I, no, really thinking I need to heat her tonight. I know people say it's cold. It is cold, but it's no, it's no like really cold. So we'll see what we've got when we get in here. This is a problem, you can't really get into position, which means you can't really go to sleep. Um, I don't actually know why they're sitting there like that. Yeah. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that video, thanks for watching. Make sure and subscribe. Bye.